What is up, train fam? Today we're going to be doing a quick review on Percy and James, Lionel's latest rendition of their Lion Sheep locomotives. As you've seen in our pre previous videos, we've gotten these for my daughters that are four years old, and they've been having a ball with these. So I stole them from the Christmas layout, and I'm going to bring them downstairs onto the big layout, and we're going to have a look at these and do a quick review, talk about, you know, if they're worth the price, and maybe at the end of the video, we'll do a little pulling contest. So stay tuned and check it out. So here we have James and Percy. Aren't these two guys just so cute? Percy's item number is 182. 3011 and James's item number is 1823021. Some of the key features that are included with both of these locomotives is that they can both be controlled with their included Lion Chief remote. They can also be controlled by a universal remote, which is sold separately, and they can also be controlled with a Bluetooth Lion Chief app that you can download on your phone or tablet. They do have Rail Sounds RC, sound system with steam truffing and background sounds, whistle, bell, and user activated announcements. Now both the locomotives are supposed to have an on off switch for the sound. I looked around on both engines and found that there was a provision for a switch. However, both engines do not have a switch to turn the sound off. Now, I'm not sure if Lionel did this because you can use the Bluetooth app to turn the sound down, but to me, it'd be nice to keep the switch in there. I'm not sure why they would omit that, but it's kind of cheaping out from Lionel. It's just my opinion, but still, it'd be nice to have a switch. And both locomotives do have a maintenance-free motor, and they do come with traction tires, which you'll see that they're both going to need when we do our pulling contest later in the video. Uh, and they do come with an extra traction tire, which is nice. Uh, the remote do feature forward and reverse speed control knob, which is typical of any Lion Chief remote. And they also have three buttons, which control the whistle, the bell, and some crew announcements. And a few songs that they do play. If we do turn the locomotives over, you're going to see that, that they have two pickup rollers apiece which is mighty fine for any layout, whether it be upstairs on our Christmas layout or down here on our big layout. They never lost connectivity on any of the switches or going over any bridges and things like that. So two pickup rollers was just fine. You'll also see that James uh, has his tender with a little tether in between, and he does not need any pickup rollers on his tender. Let's talk about Real Toy Train's pros and cons. This is the segment where we're going to talk about the pros and the cons of whatever we are reviewing. So, some of the pros. Let's go with the cheap price. These, once again, come in at about $130, which isn't too bad. Uh, another pro that these do have is accurate modeling. Like I said, they have the proper wheel arrangements. Um, they do have accurate looking details the paint is crisp one of the other pros that i'm going to go with is decent sounds now they don't have an amazing sounds that we would get from a legacy engine but for what they are the size of these engines they do have a decent sound system another pro that i would give these locomotives is smooth operation now they're both running off their own lion chief controller and if you go forward and back really fast the engines do not seem to be jerky at all. They'll slow down before they go into reverse or vice versa. And now for the cons. Now, the first con that I'm gonna have is a cheap price. The cheap price can be a good thing, it can be a pro, but also it's definitely a con because cheap price equals cheaply made. And that's kind of how these engines feel. Definitely more on the cheap side. And the second con is going to be no smoke unit. Now. 
these engines don't really need a smoke unit, but it would be nice to have it. And it's not a deal breaker for me, but why not put a smoke unit in there? I mean, the Elsa train that we have is a Lion Chief engine, and that smokes. And the last two cons that I'm going to go with are not having an on-off switch for the sound. Now, you can turn the sound off if you're using the Bluetooth app, but if you're using the remotes, you won't be able to turn the sound off, or that easily for that matter. And the last one is not having interchangeable faces. Now, I know the kids like to take the faces off these locomotives, and you can make them happy or sad, surprised. And the Thomas that we have that's conventional did come with three or four different faces. So it would be nice to have those. And now, the moment that we've all been waiting for, Percy and James are going to try to pull a really, really long freight train. As you can see right now, the ST70 ACE and the UC30 are pulling the train onto the tracks, and Percy and James are going to hook up to it. Okay, train fam, and this is just for fun. Let's see what Percy can pull. He's got almost all of my modern freight cars behind him. I think it's about 26. So let's uh, let's see what we can do, shall we? And that is pretty amazing. Look at this. Hey James, you're up next. Okay, now James is a little bit of a bigger engine than Percy, so I wouldn't assume that he's got any problems pulling this huge freight train behind him. And let's see how he does. James, you ready? Okay, let's go. Oh, got a little bit of wheel slips there. James is not going to do it. He's not going to pull the whole train. That's amazing. I couldn't believe that Percy did it. Good job, Percy. All right, we're going to give James one more shot. Let's see if we can back him up a little bit. It's not going to really help. All right, let's try one more time forward. Let's go, James. Oh, there we go. I think he's got it now. A little bit of wheel slip. A little bit of wheel slip. Come on, James. Oh, a little bit of traction. Throw some sand on those rails. Looks like he's doing all right. Still slipping the wheels a little bit, but he's kind of moving now. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad, James. Okay, train fam. So let's go over a little conclusion on these guys. Uh, I like to go over conclusions on all my reviews. And, you know, let's talk about the pros and the cons. Did the pros outweigh the cons? Well, I think they did. You know, at $130, you can't beat the price per engine. They do come with their own remote. Of course, I'd like to see some features added. Um, you know, operating couplers. Uh, these guys did not come with interchangeable faces, which I think that they should have. I'm not sure why they stopped doing that. Uh, but all in all, you know, they're a pretty good engine. Both of them are. Uh, the details are pretty good. I like how they added the right or correct wheel sets to James and also to Percy. Uh, so that's a nice little option there. Uh, you know, but for $130 or about that a piece, you, you really can't beat it. Um, it's good for us because we've got, you know, multiple kids and because they come with their own remote, it's nice that they, they can ride them around their layout, whether it be the small layout or this big one downstairs that we have going uh, independently. And it's also nice that they can run them around the layout while I'm running my bigger trains. So that's that's definitely a good a good bonus. Um, you know, who am I going to recommend these engines to? Well, you know, anybody who likes uh, Thomas the Tank Engine and all the people that go with them, or of course anyone of the younger ages that's going to get a kick out of these little guys. 
Am I going to recommend them to anybody who's got a big layout? Uh, probably not, unless you know you wanted to buy them as more of a joke, or if you wanted to buy them for your kids or your grandkids, like I did. But all in all, I think these are a good little model by Lionel. You can't beat them. There's a couple things that I would probably add, but you know, you really can't complain. So that's going to about wrap it up, Train Fam. I hope you enjoyed this kind of fun little video that we did. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, and please share this channel. Comment below on what you guys think about these engines. And if you think I should grab a couple more, maybe Diesel and uh, Thomas. Thomas, we have uh, as a conventional engine, but we don't have him as Lion Chief. But again, for $130, it might be nice to get Diesel and Thomas to add to our set. So once again, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and share this video. And I hope everybody's doing good, and have a happy new year.